If you're a new homeschool mom or you're about to be a new homeschool mom from one homeschool mom to another, I want to give you permission to do the deep research dive. You're going to hear it from a whole bunch of other homeschool moms that you shouldn't be spending so much time on the research, that you probably shouldn't have to learn about every last piece of curriculum and check out every last method or philosophy or try to figure out which routine or which planner is the right one for your homeschool life. You can. And I'm going to give you permission to do that deep dive into all the research things that you think you might need. And then in a couple of months, when you're starting to suspect that perhaps it's not the right curriculum, or maybe it's not the right routine, or maybe you should do that Charlotte Mason thing people are talking about, or hmm, there seems to be other ways or approaches. And this is okay, maybe, but I'm also overwhelmed at times. And also, I can't ever get the kids to do things happily or they're not motivated or somebody's bored. What do I do with all of that? There must be a better way. And there is from one homeschool mom to another. Let go and trust your child, not the routine. Trust your child, not the curriculum. And trust your child, not your method. Your first goal in your first homeschool year is to do that deep dive of research and learn about learning, learn about your child, learn about the methods, learn about the curriculum, learn about all the things homeschool, and then trust your child and accept that it is as simple as it appears. You are just helping your child to learn and embrace the things that are learning today. You got this, girlfriend.